Well, there have been three broad themes in my career, uh, in sequential order, corporate finance, technology consulting, and then more recently, academia. My transition from corporate finance to technology consulting was concurrent with the whole uh, Y2K boom and the developing of the global footprint of the Indian ICT industry. I liked the opportunity to be part of uh, an exciting uh, growing industry at that time, but at the same time I found myself limited in my knowledge of, the, uh, of IS and the IT industry, which is what prompted me to uh, go to graduate school and get a better understanding of this. And while I was at CMU, uh, I found that I just didn't want to get out of college. I loved um, I, I worked on a lot of uh, my interactions actually with the professors there uh, taught me a lot about what a career in research would be like. I loved the flexibility it offered, uh, the ability to set my own work agenda, uh, pursuing and questions and looking for solutions that were of uh, interest to me. And uh, therefore I just stuck on. And ISB was a very natural following to my decision to pursue a career in research just because of where it was, part of a growing emerging market, uh, part of a very exciting location and world class in uh, a lot of respects. And uh, that is why I'm here and I'm very excited to be here. Um, well, the evolution of the ICT industry, I think it can, well, it was conceived, like I just mentioned, um, around the whole Y2K boom. I see that as the conception of the Indian ICT industry. From that point, second phase was the explosion of the IT services sector. And as companies, but even at that point, India was still viewed as a low cost provider of transaction intensive IT services. And as companies grew comfortable outsourcing their technologies, they also became more and more comfortable outsourcing the business processes that resided on these technologies, which led to the BPO services sector boom. And more recently, where we are now, I think is um, we've transitioned from uh, the Indian ICT industry, that is, has transitioned from being this low cost provider of transaction intensive services to being a value added provider of more strategic services. It's what, uh, for instance, I think Howard has this nice phrase which says moving from the periphery to the core and which is where I think the transition is happening. And uh, that I also think is is the way to go. So to answer the second part of your question, which is where do we go from here, um, is I think A, we need to consolidate our position as a low cost uh, provider by investing uh, in productivity improvement practices, quality of talent, etc., that help us uh, improve the costs of ownership of any function that is outsourced. The second thing is to move up the value chain again through these uh, factors and emerge as a more value added provider. The third thing is I think it's important as uh, at, on an industry level for this growth to impact various aspects of uh, society and uh, society as well as the domestic industry. The domestic industry first, I mean this is the first year that uh, domestic uh, IT services has growth in domestic IT services, has surpassed the growth in export of IT services. So 34% versus 27%, I think. So the, as in the difference is not marginal. So to that extent, um, you know, I think we will see a more focus on the domestic sector in addition to export of IT services. And coming back to the point I said, we have to make sure that this growth is not limited to certain sections alone. It has a more, it has a broader societal impact. So I think those are some of the themes that we will see moving forward. Um, yes, well, the simulation uh, that I'm working on right now is something uh, we're developing to illustrate the expanded role of the CIO in the modern organization. Uh, see, it's, it's, it's consistent with this evolution of IT. It's no longer, we don't just see IT as something that reduces, as a tool that reduces the costs of uh, providing uh, certain business functions. It's not just a business enhancement strategy. It's becoming more and more, it plays an important role in business transformation. And hence the CIO also has an important role to play in that transformative agenda of the company. So 
there are a lot of skills that we see modern CIOs must house. They have to talk the language of the rest of the business organizations, for instance, the finance organizations. To be able to assess the value that IT brings, to be able to identify, select, adopt and exploit IT in a very uh, strategic way and to communicate that value to the rest of the business constituents in the firm is a very important skill that I feel CIOs today must have. And the simulation that I'm developing is much on those lines. So, uh, which beginning with this class of 2009, we're introducing the simulation, which will s simulate the real world uh, situation of a company where IT plays an important role and how the CIO uh, enacts his uh, agenda in that company. Uh, several areas where I think ISB and SITNI can play a Im very important role in contributing to top quality research and information systems. A, uh, I think we have a significant locational advantage. Uh, in terms of domestic market for IT, India is one of the top destinations. In terms of export of IT services, India is one of the top destinations. So just in terms of supply as well as demand for IT services, uh, this is a great place for interaction with industry, for interaction with uh, the stakeholders in that process, and to understand the growth of this industry moving forward. So for all those reasons, it's a great place to be. The other theme which, uh, which is important here is the social impact of IT. It's a relatively under-researched area. And we find so many initiatives in the last few years. For instance, uh, the e-saver here, the uh, Gram Heart, which was recently, uh, you know, in, in news, a lot of initiatives both um, across the country, which have garnered a lot of attention. And this is a perfect place to study some of those issues. Sydney has done some very good things in the last few years. We've hired uh, some quality people who are driving a very uh, futuristic agenda for the center as well as for the school. We have formal interactions set up with uh, industry. We have formal research programs, for instance, a new collaboratory initiative that we've signed with IBM, that the school has signed with IBM. All of these are part of, uh, part of the ISB advantage, I think, in uh, delivering top quality research and information systems. And we and also the students, for instance, we find there is a, a, a lot of interest in, in certain uh, areas of uh, technology. And it's a great place for, I think, the interactions with the students gives us a lot of feedback on also how to drive this agenda forward. Uh, well, for all these reasons, I think ISB rocks. It's, it's a world-class institution uh, with world-class infrastructure, world-class students, world-class researchers, and world-class teaching talent. Um, I think we are poised to grow. We've evidenced that in more recent years. And uh, for all of these reasons, I think it's a very exciting place to be. It's definitely a place to be in the future.